Today, Precarious Plays... Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. Jensen, you still alive out there? Yeah, just made it to the red light district. Any luck with that search warrant? State police aren't even taking my calls. I'm afraid you're on your own this time. Oh. Story of my life. But I got it, don't worry. Alright, so we're... Basically... Where we need to be. Okay. Like, I know it's true, but looking at that mouth... It makes you feel like you shouldn't be I don't, here. I don't think that anything important should happen under the uh, the watchful eye of uh, sensual tongue. Mm-hmm. Our lord and savior. Lick-a-tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Lord and Savior, look at that. All right, we'll get it out of the middle of frame. May they, may they long be moist. <clears throat> oh, that word drives people crazy. Like a tongue? Yeah, me too. Oh, just need to smoothly navigate around the police. Can I go there? Oh, I bet, I bet I could go from there to there. I'll give that a shot. I said that I was going to talk about MMOs, right? Why yeah. I occasionally indulge in them? Yeah. The reason why is... There are a few different reasons. First off, they are technically impressive. Yeah. Just the amount of engineering and science that has to go into making them work at all just because it, it's it's so many illusions piled up on top of one another you know mm -hmm. mm, what else there are other reasons well I think that MMOs and tabletop RPGs are mm, it on the whole like if you tried to come up with sort of a a sum total value I would say that they are both equal in uh, coming close to recreating uh, a semblance of reality right it's yeah, it's a like, tiny world that you are going to yeah it's a fiction that everybody's agreed to participate in and there's a lot of important trappings to make that suspension of disbelief continue well, are you gonna do it Access okay i still had a perfect number of a perfect amount of time remaining. Ooh, that number is very satisfying. Three mm. zeros, three ones. Oh, yeah. Three dots. Ooh. Ooh, okay. N nu numer is the numerati. It's the numerati? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It is now. It can be. We can start it right here. <laughs> it's going to be my secret club. The innumerati. But you can't have a secret club if you tell everybody about it. Sure you can. It's just a very inclusive secret club that we all agree to treat as secret. Hmm. You know, I've only played... You know, I guess I've played two MMOs, but not really. I've only really played one MMO. And even then, I, I feel like I didn't get... I definitely didn't get into, I don't know, the meat of it. I had a lot of fun, though. So I think that my experience with that game was complete. As far as it needed to be. Yeah, I don't... I don't think that I would have actually enjoyed getting much further in that game. Because then you would end up in the situations that make MMOs unfun for me. 
And it all becomes just a kind of repetition that I'm not interested in. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with your your sentiment because I think that uh, you... Uh, the only reason why I might agree with it is because uh, I don't think that you acted deliberately. What do you not agree with? I think that you you got it. You got like the... the you got a complete experience. A valid, complete experience with that product. Uh, I was hoping that the, there was a crank up there. Okay. I think you got a valid, complete experience with that product. And it's only by holding yourself to like a common standard that it doesn't feel like you... Yeah, I feel like you should hit the level cap on an MMO. No. No, I, I don't think that that's, that's necessary. I mean, I also don't think that that's necessary, but there's a, a little piece of me that is like, did I really finish that? I'm finished with it, but... But that's the thing. Because it's an ongoing experience, we're at, for until an MMO perishes and is no longer having content made for it, there is no complete state except for one that you draft for yourself. And to me, I guess that is has to do with leveling. So if you made it to the level cap, it would feel more complete? I think so. I could be like, oh, I got a max level character. I, I don't agree. I think that... Uh, well, let, me, let me explain what I do with MMOs or what I have done with almost every one I've played, right? Mm-hmm. I play until I get bored, which usually means I play until I run out of uh, content that you can do as an individual or in small groups. Mm. So basically, as soon as raiding becomes uh, mandatory, that's usually when I leave. Yeah. I have to say that raiding just to someone like me feels absolute homework, you know? Yeah. It's like, let's organize. No, it's Jensen. I'm about to enter Diwali territory. Any chance these guys are respecting the curfew? On their own turf, they're more likely to be enforcing it. So stay sharp. Yeah, kind of what I figured. It's like organizing a work party. I mean... 100%. If you've ever had to manage people, that's exactly what it is. Somebody goes in and breaks down the task into little tiny boring pieces with not very much room for interpretation so that it can all get done well and cleanly. And then you go in and either everybody does what they're supposed to and it goes by or there are some major screw ups and then you have to try again. And that is what it's like to run a shift at a job. You know? Yeah. It's like everybody's got their little piece and if everybody's clicking together, the day goes quickly and it's over. Thank goodness. And if it's... You know, if people are running around making mistakes or intentionally being D-bags or uh, if you make a big mess up, I mean, there are some things that you can do to clean it up, but it's just like a gradient of the same thing. And as a person who has managed, like, it is not fun. It is what you go home and... Maybe play a video game to avoid? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I do like the idea, like the planning aspects of managing things, but then having to sit and sit through the entire work plan. Like, I really like Civilization, for example. Yeah. That is management E. However, you don't have to go sit through it then. Like, you just point and go, this is what should happen. Let's see what combinations we get. And then you get to skip the boring part, which is the doing of it. And also, there isn't a social pressure on anyone yeah, in that environment. Um, maybe it's because I'm an introvert. 
but I just don't want any social pressure that I don't have to have. I don't know. I mean, like, a little social pressure is fine, but social pressure of a raid environment whenever you have, like, seven other people or 23 other people or, God, like, 49 other people, depending on the game you're playing, that's way too much to have weighing on you uh, for an activity. So here's one of my big problems with late game MMO content and raiding, right? Mm Mm-hmm. There are basically two versions, two uh, two possible versions of the experience. So there's, let me come up with some, some terminology so we can keep things uh, coherent. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So basically you have, and I'm trying to not, as you'll quickly discover, I do have like a a dog in this race. Yeah. Like I've got a view that I hold, but I'm trying to not treat anyone unfairly with my language, but I don't think there's a way around it. So I'm gonna call the the two types of people that get to play an MMO, explorers and then performers, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get to uh, an MMO quickly enough, like if you're one of the first people that uh, gets to a high-end raid or even just like a smaller dungeon, right? Yeah. Before it's well known, before uh, a meta has been established, before patterns of behavior become expected from the community at large, then you get to play a video game. Yeah, isn't that cool? Where, but but then you you uh, you get to explore. You get to explore the space, and you get to figure things out, right? Yeah, and presumably you're doing it as a team. Everybody's everyone's observing, everyone's taking notes, and there's probably going to be a lot of trial and error, which is a different problem that I'll talk about later. But then you have the second group, and that's fucking every sad sack that has to come in after you. Once it's on a wiki page, there's going to be what I will further distinguish as like the lead performer. Yeah. They're going to go to the wiki page, and then it's like, ah, finally, the hard work is done. Now I can. Precedent has been established. Now I can perform this, and I won't have wasted my time. And I, I hate every part of it. You know Just what that, it that mentality. Me of? What? It reminds me of my mom talking about dancing. Mm-hmm. She could not figure out what was expected of her dancing here Mm -hmm. because there are like dances like codified that you are supposed to do and like dance moves. It's not so much like this now, but when she moved here, she would ask people to dance and they'd be like, what kind? And she'd be like, dancing, what do you mean, what kind? You said Marchenko needed to finalize a deal, right? With the Diwali, yeah. Not a lot to go on, I know. Mm, Maybe not. But these guys are the best smugglers in the world, which means a lot of forged paperwork. You might find something in the Kingpin's office. Assuming I can find that. Okay, what's up? She would be very confused. Like, there are not steps. What do you mean steps? I don't know any steps. I just step. You Mm -hmm. dance. You go in and you move pieces of you to the beat and sometimes not to the beat, depending on how well you're doing what you're feeling. But it is not choreography. It's not two people who have an agreed upon set of motions that they then improvise through a few set things, she would just go out and dance, and then everybody would be like, I don't know what you're doing. You know? 
and they'd be like, you're such a great dancer. How do you dance? And she's like, you move your body to the music and then you dance. That's how it goes. You feel a way and then you move that way. But you know what the problem is with that, with this here? Yeah. That had a happy ending. If you try to go in and dance whenever you have 23 other people counting on you to not ruin their... Counting on you to do a foxtrot in a ballroom dancing co- tournament? And and you, they don't want... Well, I'm, I'm getting rid of the metaphor okay. now. If you, if you... If they don't want to have their two hours of time that they have to play this video game this week... Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to blow it for them, then you can't do your own thing, right? Yeah. So it's like, think of what you have to do to recreate that experience if you don't get there quickly. Yeah. You have to try to find seven or 23 or 49 other like-minded people to who care about... Uh, 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 mechanical spoilers, right? Yeah. They they are vehemently like, no, I want to do this. Without the instruction manual. Yeah, I want to learn how to do it. On I want us to learn it on our own because I think that will be more satisfying than all of us just, you know, following the book that somebody else wrote. And that is... Like, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's got to be rare, you know, because it's not just finding the numbers, it's the number and the priorities. Yeah. Did you give me the end episode sign? Yeah. All right. I'm going to organize my thoughts right here because I've got a little bit more than I want to say about MMOs today before I lose track of the subject between sessions. 